You might recall some time ago that Mao actually made these on the vlog, and they were pretty good. I enjoyed them. But the problem was she used a really, really sharp cheddar, and it was a little too much for me. And now she's done it over again, but this time, Povalon. I also should... changed the sauce a little bit. Oh, really? Did you? <laughs> okay. I don't think we actually showed how to make them last time. And we didn't show how to make them this time because we really want to get them perfect before we share the recipe with you. So we're going to try them. If you can't tell, these are ham and cheese sandwiches with uh, some Dijon mustard on them. Um, it was a recipe that Mao got online and has been altering a little bit. This is the second time we've tried them. And uh, oh, by the way, hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. Now these actually bake in the oven and uh, they are really, really, really messy. But... That's good. Better than last time? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I had much better than last time. Because last time, I mean, I like cheese, but not quite as much as her. And like, that sharp cheddar was killing me. Killing me. Provolone, though. Provolone's a good match for it. Mm. I mean, I was watching Mal make these, and it didn't seem like they were really hard to make. Mm -mm. I mean, this is just deli ham and cheese on Hawaiian buns that you can get in the deli section of like, you know, Walmart or your grocery. And then, you made a special base that you put on them and, and in them and stuff, and then you baked them for a bit. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, these are good. We'll uh, we'll do another vlog at some point, make these again, because I'm gonna want these again really soon, and we'll share the recipe with you because this is so good. Well, it's been a few hours, so I thought I would update the vlog because you know it's been a few hours. Um, I've spent most of the day uh, working, particularly on the mail video, and I know that. At the time you get this vlog, it's been a while. In fact, it's, you know, now it's like August, but um, back on the 15th, when the mail video came out, that's what I was working on today. Uh, we actually filmed it today, and uh, between yesterday and today, we made the mail video come together. We weren't really sure what it was going to be like, how hard it was going to be to put together. We didn't really know any of that stuff, um, but we did it. And also it took a little longer this first time because I had to make some assets. I had to make music because I really wanted music because um, I had tried some musical stuff um, with one of the past mail videos and it was like, it makes a huge difference. It makes it feel, it can make any amount of time feel like much less time. Like I, I honestly felt, and I don't know if you guys felt like this because now at this point the mail video has been out a while. but. Um, it makes time go by really fast. I mean, the mail video is like 40 minutes long, but it doesn't feel that long, especially like the first 10 minutes, like they fly by, so I don't know. I, need, I knew it needed music, and I also had to make a, like a graphical thing because I wanted it to be able to say the person's uh, name and the city and state and their username without me having to you know, verbally state that so we can make the video shorter. Anyway, um, that's what we did uh, yesterday and today because uh, yesterday we had to do the planning part of the mail video where we actually open the letters read the letters um, and then we actually marked on the letters themselves like underlined parts that we wanted to mention um, so we've done that all day and we also had to do Mal's Cave of Ordeal run so it's been a late night in fact it's 6 a.m. <laughs> and we can't go to bed quite yet because the Cave of Ordeals thing is exporting and I have to make sure it's uploaded for tonight, so it's been kind of bad. Also, we're really hungry all of a sudden, probably because we had dinner many, many hours ago. So I think I'm going to make myself a ham and cheese sandwich. Not the ones we had earlier. A different ham and cheese. A basic sandwich, but it's good. An interesting thing is that I went to put the mustard on this, and apparently the mustard's been expired for like a year. <laughs> But it tastes fine. And I was curious, especially because it feels like every time I go to put a condiment on something, that condiment's been expired forever. But it still tastes fine. So um, I actually had Mal pull up a uh, Google search about mustard, and apparently mustard lasts forever. As long as forever is about one to three years, depending on whether it was in the refrigerator or in the, uh, in the pantry unopened. The one I put on was in the pantry on open. But that it lasts that long past the printed date. So that printed date don't mean a whole lot. At least when it comes to mustard. Anyway, this is going to be it for today. Go finish the sandwich and get that export done. 
and things are going to be good. This weekend will be a lot easier on me. Trying to get a lot of stuff done. Gotta get caught up and then ahead before Carly gets here in um, eight days? Nine days? I don't know, something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? What better way to celebrate this evening's 80 degree temperature than with a glass of hot chocolate? Running. She's running. Ah, uh, no, 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 you don't. Jeez, I can't get. Die!